action. Pollution, Pollution TED, TED Talk. Talk. Hi, I'm Bernardo. And I'm Jackson. I hope you guys will follow this TED Talk. And afterward, after the proof you need to stop pollution, you can consider ways to be part of the solution, like starting a cleanup group or supporting laws to stop littering. Pollution is bad for the earth because it can hurt the environment, human beings, and animals. Noise pollution is generally defined as regular exposure to elevated sound levels that may lead to ad- adverse effects in humans. <clears throat> or other living organisms. As an, ex- an example, are airports with constant elevated sounds from air traffic and planes taking off or landing. This is why employees wear noise canceling headphones to protect their hearing. Waste pollution is caused by the mismanagement of solid waste from humans and their activities. Regulation for waste collectors and waste disposal contractors is important. Plastic pollution is the accumulation of plastic objects, particles, and particles in the Earth's environment that adversely affects humans, wildlife, and their habitat. Have you seen the Great Garbage Patch in the Pacific Ocean? It is one of five garbage patches. It is three times the size of Texas. It is hard to clean up because it is filled with nets and microplastics. Some marine animals have up to 74% of their diet from these microplastics. Turtles, seals, and birds. Turtles, seals, birds, and dolphins often mistake plastic waste for food. Plastic bags floating in the water could look like jellyfish, for example. After animals eat plastic, their intestines get blocked and their normal food can't be digested properly. Litter is dirty and spoils our environment. You can help by supporting 4Ocean and the Ocean Cleanup organizations. Donate and volunteer if you can. Always recycle, reduce, and reuse whenever you can. Air pollution is caused by the solid and liquid particles and certain gases that are suspended in the air. These particles and gases can come from things like cars, trucks, exhaust factories, dust, pollen, mold, spores, volcanoes, and wildfires. In addition to water and soil pollution, litter can also pollute the air. Researchers researchers estimate that more than 30 or 40 percent of their the world's litter is burned in the open air, which can release toxic emissions. These emissions can cause respiratory issues or respiratory issues or other health problems and can even be a starting base for acid rain. Visual pollution is this visible determination and negative aesthetic quality of the natural humans made landscapes around people and refer references to the refer to the impact Pollution has in impairing the quality of the landscapes and is formed from compounding secure sources, sources of pollen to create it. Pollen pollution. <laughs> These elements include natural factors like smoke emitted from forest fires or wind blown dust as well as man-made factors such as billboards, mobile towers, power lines, antennas, smog, fumes, garbage, dumps, etc. Like other types of pollution, visual pollution is also largely man-made. Thermal pollution is any deviation (coughs) from the natural temperatures in habitat and can rage Range Both. range from eleven elevated elevated temperatures associated associated with industrial industrial cool cooling activities to discharge of cold water into streams below impoundments. Thermal pollution, sometimes called thermal enrichment, is the degradation of water temperature. Thermal pollution is the rise or fall of temperature in a natural human body of water caused by human influence. Now that you know about all the different types of pollution, we hope we will make some easy changes to use less plastic and support laws and organizations that work to prevent and reverse reverse the pollution we already have reuse we know we do
items, reuse, recycle, volunteer, donate, and encourage, encourage others to do this. Two. Two. Thank you. Thank you.